Good morning. Uh, today is May the 4th. Uh, big Star Wars date for fans of Star Wars. Uh, May the 4th be with you. Uh, but it's also um, Marge Stacy's birthday. And so many of you know Marge and her husband, Bill, who passed away this past year, uh, who have done hospitality, usually at the 1030 Mass. Both uh, such lovely people and uh, a wonderful face of incarnate word for their kindness and their welcoming spirit. So uh, Marge, I was gonna go drive to Marge's house uh, to interview her for her birthday, and guess what? Uh, she showed up at the church, so she's gonna be in the car. I'm gonna be outside the car, and let's see how Marge is handling uh, COVID-19. Good morning, Marge. Uh, I didn't expect to run into you at church, but this is great. It saves me a little gas money. Uh, <laughs> so we'll uh, just ask you a few friendly questions here. Uh, first of all, just for those maybe five or ten people in the parish that don't know who you are, uh, just give us your name and how long you've been in the parish. My name is Marjorie, Marge, Marjorie, Marge Stacy, and I've been in the parish 48 years. Wow. Since 1972, I think that has <laughs> Okay, yeah, your math is still good. Yeah, and today's a special day for you, right? I know that, you know, I probably shouldn't say anything, but um, it's your birthday, right? Oh, no. Okay. But it's still, it's still my birthday week. Okay. All right. Well, we'll take that. And, uh, of course, you know, the whole parish loves you and, and loved your husband, Bill. Uh, how long were you guys married for? 62 years. Awesome. Yeah. So we miss him. I'm sure you do as well. But glad you're still here to, to carry on his memory and also bring that good cheer that you guys are so good at. So what's one thing you're going to do when quarantine uh, eases up here? Sure. Of course, being in church. Oh, it's just so nice to just sit in church and absorb all the beauty that I think. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, we miss seeing you guys. Is there something that during this time that you've been at home, anything you've gotten really good at or uh, something like that? Okay. <laughs> that actually turned out really good. I was looking in the fridge and the pantry and saying, okay, what do I have now? But, I didn't have um, but mostly, I've enjoyed the time of, that, that I can spend a little more time with. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, I should keep that up. Please. Yeah. Well, what's one of your top secret uh, novel meals that you can share with the parish? Your unusual combos. Well, one night I made just a bowl of chili. Uh huh. So I, I had this, these chili beans that were seasoned in the pantry. So I poured some of those in a bowl, and I happened to have some some hamburger that was already browned. So I dumped that in. And I chopped up some onion and some pepper. Yeah. That's good. You could reopen Steak and Shake with, with those recipes. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, let's see here. I got to find all my questions. Um, you have your, I'm sure having your kids over soon will be a priority. Um, that'll be wonderful. Um, have you discovered any hidden talents that you've had besides cooking strange uh, survival meals out of your kitchen during this time of quarantine? Well, um, I don't know, not so much talents, but, but we, we have established a little walking pattern sometimes with family, our one friend, where we walk and talk rather loudly about six or eight weeks. <laughs> uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, and that was going to kind of be my follow-up. My, my final question is, uh, as you think about today, Monday, May the 4th, what's one thing you're grateful for today?
to God. We're happy that you're a part of this parish and uh, look forward to being in person and praying with you and having fellowship again. So thanks for uh, letting me interview you here at church and hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.